Hello, I'm Hannah, and welcome to the final instalment of New Scientist's How To Be A Maker. Today we're going to be building BiscuitBot. If you've made a cup of tea and your hands are full and you need someone to carry your biscuits, BiscuitBot will be able to do that for you. If you haven't already caught up with all the other columns in the series, you can find them at our website, newscientist.com. But today, follow along with me while we make biscuit bots. We've got some batteries, some sensors, a micro bit board, and some tools and some wires. We've covered a lot of the different components of this in some of the earlier columns, so you can catch up with them online at newscientist.com. Let's get started. I'm using this robot chassis that I found online. You don't have to use a robot chassis like this one. An old CD case or some cardboard or something would work just fine. But I like this one because it's got a convenient biscuit platform. All I've done so far is attach the continuous rotation servos to the brackets on my robot chassis with a couple of small screws. Next, our robot is going to need some batteries. We've got the big battery pack that's going to be powering the continuous rotation servos. And we've got the small battery pack that's going to be providing power for our micro bit board. I think a good place for these will be under the biscuit platform. So we'll just slide that on there. And that one on there like that. So we've got quite a lot of wires going on already. We're going to need some way to organize those and to make them connect to each other. And that's where our breadboard comes in. So next, we're going to take our micro bit, which is going to be the brains of our biscuit bot. It needs some instructions to tell biscuit bot what to do. I've already done that, but if you have any trouble programming your biscuit bot, you can go online to our website and download some example code. I'm using this cradle to make it easier to connect to all the pins on my micro bit. So I just slot it in like so, and then I can plug it into my breadboard, which lets me access all the pins. Just line them up and then make sure they're nice and secure. Perfect. So next, let's connect up the motors. So each of these continuous rotation servos has three wires. The brown wire is for its connection to ground. The red wire is connection to power and the orange wire is the wire that connects to the pins zero and one on the micro bit board to tell the motors what to do. So let's get some bits of wire without dropping too many of them on the floor <laughs> and connect that. And we can just cut out the bit where I'm fiddling about. <laughs> sure those connections are nice and tight. Okay, so next we're going to attach BiscuitBot's eyes. I'm using these two infrared line sensors. These infrared line sensors are going to let BiscuitBot see a line on the floor, which is what he's going to follow. So we're going to mount them on the front of BiscuitBot, side by side. They have an infrared emitter and an infrared detector, and they bounce the light off a surface and back. Different coloured surfaces reflect different amounts of the infrared light, so BiscuitBot will be able to tell whether he's on the line or whether he's left the line. Now we'll connect up these sensors to the micro bit. Each one has three connections. They connect to the three volt supply from the micro bit, they connect to the ground, and they connect to the pin on the micro bit that's going to take the information from the sensor and tell BiscuitBot where the line is. So now BiscuitBot is nearly finished. We just need to give him some power and some wheels. We're going to be connecting the bigger battery pack to the power and ground rail here, which will power the servos. And this smaller battery pack will connect to the micro bit. But there's one last important thing that we need to do first, and that's to make sure that the ground of the micro bit is connected to the ground of the other battery pack. So I'm going to take the wires from the big battery pack and I'm going to slot them into my breadboard. Now remember, the blue rail of the breadboard is connected across this way. So the whole of that blue line is connected. So all of the things that we've connected to ground will connect to that. And likewise for the red rail, 
or the power rail. And if you can't remember how all the connections on the breadboard work, we've got a column on that, so be sure to check out our website, newscientist.com, and you can catch yourself up. And now to connect the small battery pack. As you can see, one of my servos has started moving already, and it kind of shouldn't be doing that. There's a little screw, I don't know if you can see it, just on the underside of the servo. You want to just turn your screwdriver until it's still. I think that'll do. The last thing to do is to adjust the sensitivity of the infrared sensors to make sure that BiscuitBot can see the line. So the sensors that I'm using, let me just grab my screwdriver, have this little dial on the board here, and you use a screwdriver to adjust them to change the sensitivity. So I'd recommend test BiscuitBot out. If it can't see the line, try and adjust the sensitivity and try again until it works. Perfect. Now all we need is some biscuits. <laughs>